Hi there. Uh, this month I'm gonna show you how to make 2D drawings out of your Bing models in in FreeCAD. Um, so this will be a very quick um, showcase of what your options are and what already works well, what what's available to you. So I'm gonna use an existing model of mine, which is this one. I'm going to turn the roof off as we're not going to use it now, so it will be easier to see. Uh, so I, here I have a more or less complete beam model. I'm going to turn this wall, these bricks off. So this simplifies our, our view. And I'm going to make a plan view of this. Uh, this whole model is inside the building object. Um, but you can basically group this uh, as you want. Uh, it's, of course, easier if you have only one object that contains all the others. It's easier for all the rest. So I would advise for you to group all the objects of your building inside one object, being a building, being a building part, or being a group. It doesn't matter. Then uh, in the beam or in the arch workbench, we can use this section plane tool to create a section through the model. And uh, it has little arrows that indicate you in which direction it looks. Uh, it's a bit too high for me. I would like to make it a little bit lower. So um, it cuts through the windows. All right, so now with this section plane, you can do a couple of things. Um, the easiest, the most immediate one is to use this shape to the view, which produce a 2D view of our model. I will change the thickness of this right and uh, the shape to the view has two modes uh, one that shows everything that's seen and another one that shows only what's cut uh, in this case if I want to make a nice drawing with um, seen lines that have a different thickness than the cut lines I will just make two of these objects so I will select again my section plane and make another one and on this, this other one, the first one is set to solid mode, and the second one, I will change its mode to cut faces. Then I can move it to its right place on the other one. Now it just place one above the other. So now I have a quite nice view with cut objects that are even uh, filled with a face and uh, viewed lines. Um, this, you just have those two objects and if you want to export this to DXF, just do file export and choose uh, the XF file format. Um, but we can do we can do better than that. We can add dimension and text already there that will be exported together to the DXF file. Um, dimensions are pretty easy to use you can use this tool here and then you click two points one two and a third point to place the dimension and repeat this as much as you want all the aspects of these dimensions uh, the size uh, of the text the size of the line the type of the um, 
of the uh, the arrows uh, you can use arrows as well if you prefer all this can be changed in these um, in these properties but you can also set uh, the default preferences in, in the preference screen so all the future dimensions will look the same way and now put back everything the same and you can also add text here oh this is a Python 3 bug that I will still have to fix before the next release. Um, so basically, that's one way to work, which is basically to do everything inside the 3D view and export this to DXF or DWG and put this on a sheet or rework it inside another 2D CAD application such as LibreCAD or AutoCAD. Um, but there are other ways to work. Now we'll hide this. And the other way to work, uh, which is a little bit slower for now, uh, but it's more uh, perfect and um, let's say it's the future, it's where we want to, to, to go. Uh, at the moment, the workflow that I showed you is faster because everything stays in the 3D view and it, it goes quite faster. But this is where we're going and this is where we're going to arrive um, at some point. Uh, the TechDoor is another FreeCAD module that's used to produce 2D sheets such as this one uh, that you can export to PDF already, to SVG and even to DXF but it's still being implemented so it's not complete. Um, so basically this is the preferred way to produce 2D drawings of your of your model and at the moment um, you have this tool here which is used to produce a view of an arc section, arc section plane um, that's one of the way to work with uh, I did it so it's just very big so let's make it slow or smaller Uh, where is the scale? It's still too big. Still too big. Let's try dot one. Okay, this is okay. And this combines the two um, the two views that I had to do in the three D view. Uh, this is all done automatically by this tool. Uh, it shows the viewed lines and the cut lines together. Um, you can change the scale of the line here and you see that the cut lines are, are thicker and that ratio between the view line and the thick and the cut lines can be set in the in the preferences. Um, that's an easy way to do because it uses the section plane of the arch module Unfortunately, um, this on this type of view, the these tools of TechDraw uh, to place dimensions don't work. For now, we are working on this, and hopefully, very soon, this will be solved. Um, but there is another way. Which is basically to produce a view not of this uh, section plane but di directly of the model object. Uh, to do this uh, you select the where is it what is it the how the building object and you use the standard tag draw uh, view which is this one. So it's also bigger too big so we'll change that now. And I will use the same scale that I used the other time. And now we have a nice plan view. Here too, I can change the line scale. And 
get something nicer. And the big advantage of using this view is that these uh, dimensioning tools of TechDraw are now available. Um, so this is very easy to use. You just select one line and place a dimension. It's very big, so I can change the text size. And here it goes. All these, uh, these tag door dimension as well as the draft dimensions uh, are kept um, linked to the geometry. So if the geometry changes, the dimension changes as well. In the case of the draft ones that, are, that we made directly in the, in the model, uh, it depends how you make them. You can choose if they are uh, linked to the geometry or not. Up to you. Uh, the tech draw dimensions are always linked to the geometry. Um, so this is how you do it. Uh, you can also place um, texts. In your uh, on your page. Um, uh, and you also have other things you can put hatching in the in the in the drawing, etc. Uh, there are many options of the Tector Bench that become available when you use this, this tool here. You can do sections as well. At the moment, it's a bit uh, cobblestone that you need to produce first a, a view, a normal view. Then from this view, you can produce uh, a section. But those are all issues that are being uh, addressed. And... Um, so basically that's it, um, that's how things work at the moment, and thanks for watching, and I uh, hope this was useful, and um, well, hopefully pretty soon we'll have new tool to add to this workflow. Uh, that's it then, bye, see you next month.